the potential impact of US dollar strength on the rest of the world economy. A strong dollar presents both opportunities and challenges for the United States. It is beneficial to some people while being harmful to others. When measured against other currencies in the foreign exchange market, the dollar performs well when its value rises. A stronger US dollar indicates that it can now buy the same number of other currencies as it did previously. For example, a strong dollar is advantageous for American visitors traveling abroad but unfavorable for international tourists visiting the United States. As of July 2022, the Invesco DB US Dollar Index Bullish Fund UUP, had a year-to-date gain of about 14%. This exchange traded fund tracks an index that measures the value of the US dollar in relation to its exchange rate against a basket of major foreign currencies, including the euro, Japanese yen, British pound, Canadian dollar, Swedish krona, and Swiss franc. This index is monitored by a third party and has no direct influence over investment decisions. The value of the US dollar has increased significantly in comparison to key currencies around the world over the last year and it has recently reached levels not seen in 20 years. It is currently worth 16% more than the euro, 23% more than the Japanese yen, and 15% more than the British pound. The following are some of the consequences of the dollar's strength. Because of the strength of the US dollar, consumers in other countries will buy fewer US-made goods. The trade imbalance in the United States, defined as the difference between the country's exports and imports, is rapidly approaching the startling figure of $1 trillion per year. Both Joe Biden and Donald Trump, both candidates for president, have pledged to reduce it, particularly with regard to China. Economists are concerned that the trade deficit will increase US borrowing and reflect the reality that many manufacturing jobs have been relocated elsewhere. The most obvious economic policy that can be used to prevent an increase in a trade deficit is the age-old strategy of imposing tariffs, quotas, or other barriers on imports. When the US engages in protectionism, other countries usually respond by raising their own tariffs and erecting other types of barriers to US exports. A stronger dollar contributes to the political impetus for protectionism and threatens global trade in an era where, deglobalization, has already begun as a result of deteriorating Western ties with Russia and China. This is due to the deterioration of Western relations with Russia and China. Because the US dollar is the world's reserve currency, it is used in the vast majority of global financial transactions. As a result, changes in its value have far-reaching consequences for the global economy. During the Eurozone crisis's darkest days, weaker EU member states like Portugal, Ireland, Greece, and Cyprus were more vulnerable to investors driving up their borrowing costs to crisis levels. However, as the crisis progressed, these countries became less vulnerable to this risk. This is because a significant portion of their national debt is currently held by the European Stability Mechanism ESM, which was established to assist in their rescue, as well as more accommodating Eurozone investment banks. Because the majority of developing countries' debts are denominated in US dollars, the amount owed by many of them has increased significantly in the last year. As a result, many people will struggle to find an ever-increasing amount of the regional currency to pay off their debts. This is already taking place in Sri Lanka, and it is possible that other countries will follow suit in the near future. They will be forced to raise tax rates on their economy, issue locally devalued currency, or simply borrow more money. Depending on the path chosen, the outcomes could include a severe economic downturn, hyperinflation, a sovereign debt crisis, or all three at the same time. Recovery from sovereign debt crises in developing countries can take years or even decades, causing great suffering for the people who live there. Dollars are commonly used as the trading currency for the majority of commodities, including gasoline, metals, and lumber. As a result, as the value of the dollar rises, the cost of these items rises in domestic currency. For example, over the last year, the price of gasoline in British pounds has risen from 72 British pounds to 84 British pounds for the same amount of money in US dollars. A double whammy is being created as a result of the recent sharp increase in the price of a litre of gasoline measured in US dollars. 
Inflation affects consumers and businesses worldwide as a result of price increases for a wide range of goods caused by increases in the cost of energy and raw materials. The United States is the sole exception to this rule, as a stronger currency makes it easier and less expensive to import consumer goods, which may help to keep inflation under control. If a foreign government requires US dollar reserves, they will have to pay a much higher price to obtain those dollars. This is especially important in economies that are still relatively new to the market. Companies based in the United States that do a large portion of their business around the world will suffer as the value of their foreign sales income on their balance sheets decreases. It is also likely that investors in these types of companies will suffer a loss. McDonald's and Philip Morris are well-known examples of US corporations with a significant portion of their sales occurring overseas. While some of these firms use derivatives to hedge their currency exposures, not all of them do, and those that do may only do so partially. The stronger US dollar is an unintended consequence of higher interest rates. Because the dollar now provides a high yield when deposited in a US bank, foreign investors are encouraged to sell their local currency and buy US dollars. Of course, central banks in other countries, such as the United Kingdom, have been raising interest rates, and the Eurozone is planning to do the same. However, they are not acting as aggressively as the United States. Meanwhile, Japan is not tightening at all, resulting in increased overseas demand for US dollars. Another reason for the US dollar's rise is that it is a traditional safe haven when the world is concerned about a recession and the current geopolitical situation may make it even more appealing. The euro has suffered as a result of the EU's proximity to the Ukraine conflict, its reliance on Russian energy, and the prospect of another eurozone crisis. For the first time since its inception, it is approaching dollar parity. The British pound has taken a toll on the British pound, which is also facing the prospect of a second Scottish independence referendum and a potential trade war with the EU over the Northern Ireland Protocol. Finally, the yen represents an economy that appears to be losing ground. Japan is getting older, and it is still hesitant to migrate in order to increase its production capacity. A weaker yen is also the price Japan pays for maintaining QE in order to keep interest rates on its government debt low. With so many moving parts in the global economy, forecasting the future direction of the US dollar is difficult. However, we believe that persistent inflation will force US interest rates to rise further, which, combined with geopolitical shocks from war and sovereign debt defaults, will likely keep the dollar high. In summary, a strong dollar is beneficial to some but detrimental to others. Because the dollar has strengthened in the last year, American consumers have benefited from lower import prices and less expensive foreign travel. At the same time, American businesses that export or rely on global markets for the majority of their sales have suffered.